All right, so we're gonna do a quick video so on how to do the slash update. All right, so the link I have provided I will take you to this page, and you'll see a bunch of different files. The one you want is right here, Xtil D1 Firmware 2, and it, depending on how you're looking at it, you might actually get the full name. What you're gonna say is you're gonna right click on it, and then you're gonna say download. You're gonna say download anyway. And you're going to download this to, well, somewhere that makes sense. So I'm just going to stick it in my downloads folder. And I'm going to say OK. Now, once it's finished downloading here, I'm going to say show in folder. There it is right there. However you need to get to where you download it, that's the deal. Now I am going to right click. On it and I'm so I'm going to say extract all and they'll say where do you want this this is where I want this and I want it to show me the extracted files when completed so Windows will go through and do the extraction for you I'm taking this zip file out we'll wait for it to finish My machine's a bit busy at the moment, so it's slower than typical. All right, all done. And there it is. Now, if you didn't, it doesn't pop up for you like mine did. Now you have a folder. It's the same folder. So we go in here. We scroll down to Xtool D1 firmware tool.exe. Now, if you're on a Windows system where you have told it to hide, the extensions for known file types you will see this name and this icon but it will not say .exe it's the same file um, I hate that option so I always turn it off so we double click on that to open up our file um, if it says something like this on yours we click more info and we tell it to run anyway the reason it's giving that warning is because this is a firmware programming device um, which could reprogram the firmware, say, in your computer or something like that. Windows doesn't know exactly what it can do other than program firmware. So, anyway, um, we right here, click the three little dots, and we want to navigate to where our firmware is. So we go into the firmware folder. Double click. The version you want is version B5 um, currently. That is the most current version. You can also look at the file name. And this is its date. The year is 2022, month is 07, and the day is 08. Um, that is the most recent. You say open. Here, this is where your D1 uh, should be listed out. Um, if you don't have any com here, well, double check that A, you have your D1 on, and B, that you have plugged in your USB cord to it. Um, from here, if everything looks fine, you've selected here and here, then you should be ready to actually start, right? So we click Start Upgrade, and it'll start going through like this. So this is what it looks like when it's correct. Um, so I'm going to show you a, a little difference um, of what it looks like when it's not correct. Um, the most common reason that it's not correct is because the little firmware switch has not been flipped. We're going to go ahead and let this guy finish up. Um, it only takes a few seconds. Um, and this tool is rather nice because it actually doesn't really care if um, you've bricked your D1 um, or not. It does its thing. So there we go. It all finished up and it says pass. So at this point, what you would normally do if you've got your pass is you power off your D1 board. You flip the little switch back to the other position and then you power back on and now you can go and play with XCS or uh, um, a few other things so we're gonna say hey what happens when uh, you didn't flip the switch well I just toggled power on uh, the control board I'm playing with um, everything else is the same I say start upgrade BAM access denied it says I can't find anything that's one way that it can come up so you say all right unplug the usb cable plug it back in or you can power it off and power it back on we're going to refresh again anything here no and yep 
It's just, it's trying and trying and trying, and it's just not getting anything. Um, like I said, what this means is that you, you forgot to put the little switch on there. And so we'll let this kind of air out so you can see just what that looks like um, when that air pops up. But those are the most common errors you're going to get. Um, on rare occasions, there'll be something else that it's uh, that it'll show. It's almost always the little switch. So yep, here and here, it failed to connect, it timed out, blah, 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 blah. So power off your D1, go flip the little switch the other way. Even if you think you have it in the right position, Go flip it in the other direction anyway, um, and you go back through the sequence, and you should be good. And really, that's all there is to it, friends. Hope this was helpful.